morning everyone and welcome to vlogmas day eight we are going to open day eight of the advent calendar now here we go my favorite squiggly tree earl gray supreme let me just grab the chocolate we have these chocolates today This is flavored with twice the amount of bergamot essence. Mmm, it smells really, really, really good. Cheers! Oh. Mmm. I like this. It's very, very flavorful. I'm enjoying this a lot. I had my annual check-in and I had a really nice conversation with my boss at the writing studio. Mm, I love chatting with her. I am about to have my first meal. I am back to the pumpernickel toast with cream cheese and I opened the apricot jam. Hubby had already opened the strawberry jam, but I really felt like this one. I usually don't like to open more than one. Pretty wild of me to have two jars of jam open at the same time. I wanted to show you the chocolate for today. I'm going to have one with my lunch. These are the flavors. So this is the one I couldn't really remember. I think it is Dolce de Leche, and then this one, I believe, is orange. So if this one is orange, Javi has already told me that he will trade me. I'm not sure what it is about that combination, but he dislikes it so much that he won't even eat it. I love it though, so I'm happy to trade. And I did pack this particular bag anticipating that he might want to trade. So I picked a flavor that he would like that I'm like not super attached to. Like strawberry would be hard for me to trade. Mango. They didn't have mango this year, did they? I can't remember now. Actually, I think they did have mango. It just hasn't shown up yet. I'm just going to open this up now. I'm not going to eat it until after, but... Oh yeah, this is orange. <laughs> you can smell it. It smells very strong. And I'm re-steeping my um, Earl Grey Supreme. I think all of the flavor has pretty much um, gone into the first steep because it's been five minutes and the tea isn't that dark. So maybe I'll just leave it, um, I don't want it to get too tannic. So I will, I will remove the tea leaves now. I am going to gobble down my lunch and then I'm going to head out to do a little bit of shopping. I want to go to some stores to see if I can pick up some things for hubby stocking. Right now I only have two things in there and I really want to um, have a nice variety for him. So we can go shopping together after I eat. And then I have one more self-reflection exercise that I wanna test out that involves um, me going out. I will explain more about that when I'm out and about. I'm in the path and it is office lunch hour, so it's quite busy. There's one store I wanna go to, and I may check out a couple more, depending on what catches my eye, but I'd like to grab what I need and get out of here. The main store I wanted to go to didn't have what I was looking for, so I am going to head out now. That was too many people and too little masking. So I am going to walk outside. Oh, feels good to be out. These cards are so much cuter than the ones I bought and they're cheaper too. <laughs> okay, next time I'm coming to Marshalls. I'm gonna buy this for Lulu. She doesn't really love toys. She has like two of her favorites and then she loses interest. But I figured this might be fun because there are a lot of different shapes. So maybe she'll like one of them. At the very least, she'll be entertained for a little while. I'm gonna check out some arts and crafts stores and see if that sparks any creativity. 
That is one of the exercises in my book, so I just want to make sure that it works. That was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Initially, I wasn't having a lot of fun when I went into the path and I was looking for a few things for hubby. It was just really crowded. Nobody was wearing masks. It was um, hot and it was very loud. So quite overwhelming, especially since I pretty much spent all my days alone. But um, I did manage to get a few things for Hubby. So Hubby's stocking is looking really nice and full. This year we are trying to um, not have anything outside of the stocking. Sometimes we cheat by hanging things behind. Although Hubby said um, he does have one thing for me that won't fit in the stocking. And we're also trying to do all food this year. So I did buy some stuff for Hubby that isn't food. Um, I would say like two things in particular, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give those to him for our anniversary, our dating anniversary. So that is um, on New Year's Day. In terms of shopping, I was really starting to think, oh, I don't like shopping anymore because when I went to the Eaton Center, the same thing kind of happened. I just found it very exhausting, even though it wasn't busy at the mall that day. I couldn't really find anything. I tried some stuff on, didn't like it. I just found I was like really, really picky, which I guess is a good thing because um, I used to buy a whole lot. I was essentially addicted to shopping before. That being said, I did buy something at the craft store. Now the exercise I was testing out, I really wanted it to be about sparking creativity and not about shopping. So in the exercise, I put some wording around um, try not to buy anything on this visit. Instead, just see what sparks your interest. And then you can always return to the store later to make the purchase. So that worked very well at the beginning. I found myself very drawn to the markers but there were lots of parts of the store that interested me and that surprised me. I really thought nothing would catch my interest. I knew the pens I would really like and I have been um, interested in uh, yarns and such before because I like to knit and I've done like the arm knitting of the scarves and I've also done crocheting in the past although I was just talking to my boss about this. All my crochet pieces come out in triangles even if I put like an extra loop at the end all my stuff ends up being a triangle so I'm gonna have to try that again but I still have my um my crochet needles as well I saw these um art sets so these are sets that have markers crayons colored pencils or pencil crayons um, sometimes they have like pastels and paints and I loved those sets as a child I would stare at them I wanted one so bad and then I got one and I barely used it because all I wanted to do was look at it I haven't thought about that in so long and that memory just came flooding back the other section that caught my eye that I spent a lot of time looking at was a section on t-shirts so they have all of these colorful t-shirts and I had just bought a bunch from Shein that I returned because I didn't like the fit and I was like oh maybe I should try some of these some of the t-shirts were very inexpensive they were only $6.99 and they came in all these beautiful bright colors so I'm thinking about maybe going back and picking one up just to see and of course the last area or areas had um a lot of like jewelry making things. So very recently, I actually went to a finding store, one that I used to go to all the time when I made a ton of costume jewelry. I wanted to find um, these earrings that I had made before, these wood pieces. They were beautiful and I did declutter them. I'm kind of regretting it now and I thought maybe I could find the same um, wood piece and just make them again, but unfortunately I couldn't find them. But of course I am very happy I went through the decluttering phase and there will be other earrings. I have other earrings that I love now, so it's all good. So when I went to the finding store, I didn't buy anything. There were a few things that caught my eye but I didn't like anything enough to buy it. So today at Michael's when I was browsing their jewelry section I found these charms and at first I was looking at these. So these are little dinosaurs and I like that they're all different. I think these are intended to be on like charm bracelets but I'm gonna make them into earrings and I'm going to wear them mismatched because I actually love mismatched sets of earrings 
And these were buy one, get one free, but I didn't want the same one. Instead, I bought these. So I'm going to make these into earrings as well. There are nine charms here, so these are definitely going to be mismatched. And I could even mix and match these, although I'll have to see what the weight is like because um, these are significantly heavier and I don't really want to notice that when I'm wearing earrings, just one side being heavier than the other. But there was only one left of this, which is why I decided to go ahead and buy it. Purchased this and of course I bought some hooks. The day that I went to the finding store, I did go through my remaining findings from my jewelry making days. This is all I have left and I have jump rings but I don't have any um, earring hooks. I'm all done. I have my earrings. They're so cute. And it only took um, around 12 minutes to do all that and that included taking everything out of the packaging which I think took the longest. And I am mixing metals here. I thought about buying the gold hooks but I was like I'm not going to. I'm just going to buy one set of hooks. And I should mention that all of these supplies, so the hooks as well as the um, little charms, the total price was, um, it ended up being around $13 because she gave me 30% off, which was really nice. I know Michaels has a lot of coupons, but I didn't have any with me. Ah, oh, they're so cute! You can't really tell what they are from far, I guess, but... Um, Oh, I like that. This is like Christmassy, green and red. Cute. I'm liking these. They sound really nice too. I am having leftover pizza for dinner. Hubby still has half his pizza and um, I probably won't be able to eat all of mine. So I will save some of mine for him. And I've been trying to match our lights to my top but this one's hard to match. I know you haven't seen Hubby enjoying the advent calendar as much this year because of um, the way I'm opening the advent calendar all in one shot, which I do like better because then I'm not editing so many Vlogmas clips that involve the advent calendar. I wanted to show you the little setup I made for him for when he comes home from work, which should be any minute now. So I just steeped the tea, so it is piping hot right now. I've got... Um, the chocolate that I traded him, his other one is on his desk. And uh, of course I have the tea here so he can look at it before I put it back. I'm sure you've noticed that I like to put the tea back in the advent calendar with the name facing outward. Hubby's home now and we are sharing the um, GT's Watermelon Wonder Kombucha. So I bought a whole bunch of different flavors because the small bottles were three, four, ten dollars or something like that and um this is the first time we're trying the watermelon one it's interesting i find it okay hubby's not a big fan of it and this one did have like the most bottles remaining so i figured people don't really like it but i find it kind of like i was just telling hubby it tastes almost like dill <laughs> it's strange there's no dill in it it's just water kombucha culture and that had kiwi juice in it black tea green tea fresh pressed watermelon juice cherry juice and fresh pressed lime juice but there's something very herbal about it and of course it does taste like watermelon as well and i find watermelon flavored things always taste like a bit different unexpected like the watermelon jolly ranchers i didn't like them when i first had them when i was a kid but then the taste grew on me and now i love them i haven't had one in ages but this is quite interesting i don't think i would buy this again but 
but it's all right. It kind of tastes like cucumber too. Cucumber dill. <laughs> Watermelon to me. Weird watermelon. Good morning, everyone. It is already Vlogmas day nine. Let's see what we have in envelope number nine. Oh, another Assam. Tara Julie. Hmm. And the chocolates today. Hubby just left for work and I am going to taste the tea. I also wanted to mention that the reason I don't name the chocolates when I take them out of the bag is because Hubby is home at that time. He's usually in the room, but sometimes he's like lying in bed awake and he hears me. So I just don't want to ruin the surprise. So that's why um, sometimes I'll show you the chocolates, but then I'll describe them later. It smells really good. I don't remember what the last one was like. I think I won't be able to tell the difference. So let's just give it a try. It's a beautiful color. Cheers. Oh, the temperature is perfect. It's good. I do feel like it's different from the first one. This one has more tannins. It's a bit too tannic for me. I think hubby will like this tea a lot because he is okay with tannins and he just loves like a classic black tea. I was watching my sister's vlogs. She is doing Vlogmas by the way. I'll link her channel down below. She went to Starbucks to get the peppermint mocha and watching her drink it, I was like, oh, I want one. <laughs> so I was planning to go today, but I actually won um, free coffee for a week from Tim Hortons by playing that hockey challenge. Both my friend and I actually got our seven day streaks yesterday. So starting today, we can get free coffee for a week. Now, when I get the coffee, I usually just get it for hubby because it's just too much coffee for me to drink. I could get a steep tea, but I have like so much tea at home. So because of that, I thought I would hold off on the peppermint mocha. I am taking a longer walk today. I'm gonna head to Italy. There are a couple of things I wanna pick up as well. I think I want pasta tonight because I saw pasta in my sister's video and it looked so good, but I want something quick and easy. I bought a lot, too much. <laughs> It's not gonna fit. I wasn't in the store for that long. It was really nice when I went inside and now it is snowing quite steadily. It's okay, it's pretty light. I got hubby's coffee. I am officially done buying things for hubby's stocking. One thing I had to buy the bigger bottle of because they didn't have the small bottles. I'm gonna try to make it work, but um, I wanted to show you the few things I bought for dinner. I decided to make a sausage pasta for dinner because I enjoyed that one in the Instant Pot so much, but this I'm going to make um, just on the stove. Quick and easy, I bought this kind of pasta. It looks really good. And then I bought this sauce. The bottle is really nice. I was curious about the top. Oh, it's just a regular jar. <laughs> but they put a sleeve on it, so it looks really, really nice. The shape is nice, I like it. I could use this as a water glass after. This is just the um, variety with basil. And then I also bought a couple of sausages so I wouldn't have to go to another store. This is the aged provolone and chili sausage. There are two in here. I think I'll just cut them up. And then this I was planning to put in hubby's stocking, but I found a honey that he would like better. This is the raw lime honey. And um, I'm very excited to try this. I am about to have my first meal. I am going to have this bowl of overnight oats. On top, it's mainly fruit. I've got some raspberries and um, 
a torn up banana. I'm also having a little bit of the free coffee from Timmy's. I just poured a little bit into this mug because I still have um, a little bit of my black tea and the black tea is quite strong so I don't want to overdo it on caffeine. The chocolates today are these ones here. So we've got mint and this one I think, I thought it was salted caramel. And hubby noticed my earrings this morning. So I had my hair down, but I guess he saw them and he commented on them and I hadn't told him yesterday that I made them. So I told him this morning and I told him they were mismatched. I'm wearing the um, gray and the green ones today. So I'm really liking them. I'm pretty tired from my um, longer walk and my my trip to the grocery store, <laughs> fancy grocery store, there was a lot to look at. I had a really good time. I enjoyed browsing the aisles and usually I am like an in and out kind of person when I go grocery shopping. I remember um, hubby came with me to TNT one day and we went in, I grabbed like the four or five things that we needed and I was like, okay, we have everything, we can go now. And he was like, we just got here. He wanted to browse more and I was ready to get out of there. So um, it was interesting shopping at a slower pace and taking a closer look at some of the products, but it was a lot of fun because a lot of things um, I hadn't seen before, I hadn't seen in a really long time. So I had a nice time, but I'm feeling a little bit worn out now. I do need to put um, hubby's stocking things away, so I'll try to get as much as I can in the stocking. So it's not ideal. <laughs> this package here is just lying on top of the stocking and the stocking is quite stuffed. I'm also worried it's going to fall and the contents are going to break, but everything fits and I am done hubby stocking. I'm really excited for him to open it and I only had to take one thing out of the outer packaging to make everything fit and I'll just keep the outer packaging to show him after and we'll probably put the thing back in there to store it. I had a taste of the sauce and it's really good. Look how big this pasta is. These are huge. Javi just got home and we are about to have dinner together, the giant pasta. I don't think you can tell how big this pasta actually is. In person, <laughs> it is huge. And we are going to have our last can of this San Pellegrino blood orange drink. This is really good, but they're so little. This is all we have each. And once again, I am going to grate a ton of Amazon onto this. Maybe I'll have a bite before I start grading. It's so good. It's really yummy. I love Italy. So these pasta are called something giganti. They're so yummy. They look like giant rotini. And the sauce is actually really good. I didn't add anything to the sauce. I just um, pan fried the sausage. And then I added some minced garlic. And then I added the sauce. So that was all I did. Super easy. I wanted something like very, very easy to make tonight. And it's nice because it's a different sauce, different sausages, and also um, a different pasta shape. Yay. I think that's enough. It looks like more than it is. But you could see the little mountain on the camera. Oh my. All right. Have you all want some cheese too? Okay, we are going to have dinner now. This is how much cheese I put. 
Like it? Mm-hmm. Hubby <laughs> said he liked the tea. It's a strong black tea. And he immediately said it was good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for dinner. Do you want like it? Yep, I think that's gonna be it for Vlogmas Day 9. I will see you all again very soon. Bye!